you have touted that you have no political experience. I think that's one of your campaign slogans that I've heard. I want you to take that entrepreneurial ideas that you have and apply it to the current police commissioner. Should he have gotten this job? And is he doing a good job? And how will you measure if he's doing a good job if you are the mayor of this city? That's a great question. You know, the political status quo in Baltimore City has brought us the drug problems that we're talking about, has brought us the lack of jobs, has brought us the 17,000 vacant houses. Kevin Davis is doing a good job, but we need, he will be evaluated in my administration on whether he can create a promote from within culture in the police department. We got to stop going to Oakland to get our next chief of police and Milwaukee to get the next superintendent of public schools. We need to create a police department where a young person feels like they have the ability to get the top job. And in my administration, we are also going to restore all the police district offices. We need to get people talking to each other again again in Baltimore. Yes, we're going to have more cops living in Baltimore. Yes, we're going to have more foot patrols and more body cameras. But imagine our police district offices as places of, of public engagement, of community engagement. Imagine a PAL center in each police district police district office or free Wi-Fi in a police district office. Let's give our cops a respectable place to work. Mr. Stokes, yes. I believe you were one of those who voted against giving a contract to this police commission. Am I correct on yeah, that? Yeah, I, I did. I was one of two. If not him, then whom? No, no, that's not the point at all, uh, with respect, sure. uh, Charles. The point was, I thought that the commissioner was experienced enough and credential enough to get the job at that moment. But to give him a five-year contract, work undone, work unseen, you know, here we are, three months into the new year, and we're up 50% in shootings year to year from last year. This is pre-Freddie Gray. We're up 11% in homicides in this city year to year. Is Kevin Davis doing a good job? I like Kevin Davis a lot. But apparently, we, the government, and Kevin and his troops, we need to get together in a plan that keeps our citizens safe. Our citizens are not safe. You know what? People come to me, they're afraid to park a block away from their homes because they don't know if they can get that one block to their door. When we're living in a city that has people that afraid, we're doing something very, very wrong. And we have to get together with Kevin and everyone else and figure this out sooner rather than later. Ms. Dixon, should we have a short lease on Commissioner Davis or would he have a short lease in your administration? Would he have a short lease? That's an interesting question. <laughs> Let me say this. First of all, I picked probably one of the best commissioners who was grown inside of the police department, Commissioner Fred Bilfell. I believe in that Commissioner Davis is heading on the right track, but the question is, and I'm not there, so I can't answer several questions, is whether or not the police are going to have the kind of contract that they have, were committed to, and can that get resolved before the new administration starts? Because you have police officers who are leaving the police department. We lost a lot of great experienced police officers. We have a very young police force. So the question is, is he going to be able to balance experience with recruiting new officers? And what does all of our officers know the plan? The one thing that our police department has to do, and the leader and the mayor of this city, is everyone has to be on the same page. Baltimore, we need a safe city, but we also got to get people back to work. We've got to get our young people engaged and involved in the community and get them into jobs for this summer. That's your and time, man. I'm sorry. 